Hey everybody, F-Bomb Fitzgerald here, and today I'm finally doing the Overpowered Engineer video. So for my wrench, I'm using the Southern Hospitality because it's really good at spy checking. For my secondary, I'm going to be using the Short Circuit for more spy checking, but also to uh, protect my buildings a little bit. And in the primary slot, I'm actually going to be using the Palmson because it helps deal with two of NG's biggest threats being spies and uh, Ubered medics specifically. Um, it looks like my gun's already doing some pretty good work here. So people may point out that uh, the Southern Hospitality's got a couple downsides, one of them being no random crits, uh, which is fair because wrench crits are pretty powerful, especially in pubs. But I would argue that uh, running the pumps in the short circuit kind of make up for that because if a spy or somebody else gets in your face, these two weapons can actually do some pretty good... Oh, speaking of spies, I'm just going to drop down and run away. Need to get a little bit more metal here. Uh, the short circuit's actually pretty good too. Most people use it on payload attack, which I think is actually kind of a little bit dirty because uh, it's... I don't know, I think it's a little bit overpowered when you're using it on the payload cart. Fire, 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 fire. But on defense, uh, you know, it's kind of a nice mix-up where it can really help you with bombing soldiers. It has a couple other uses too, which hopefully I get to show off later here. For now though, I really just need to make sure I get my metal back up. So speaking of metal management, that's the other thing that I really love about the pumps and the fact that it never runs out of ammunition and it doesn't draw from the same ammo pool as your secondary and melee is really nice. Uh, Alright, see if I can scare off this soldier. Alright, landed one pumps and hit. Maybe if I get another one, he'll leave my dispenser alone. Alright, I see the writing on the wall. Time to regroup and rebuild. Yeah, knowing when to drop back is really important as NG. I know Uncle Dane's got a good video about the invisible line. Oh, that's me! Yeah, Thompson's really good against spies. I know uh, a lot of NGs like to go in and try and wrench a spy that they identify, but that opens you up to trick stabs. And with the Thompson, if you can shoot a spy with the Thompson, you'll either kill them or drain their cloak, which is really powerful because then they can't get away from you. So yeah, this is kind of a middle-of-the-road NG loadout that I'm using. It's certainly defensive with the sentry and the short circuit, uh, but the Palmson is kind of a nice all-rounder where it lets me kind of go a little bit offensive. It helps me back up the damage of my sentry a little bit. Kind of, kind of similar function to how a pistol works. And there, you see a charging demo knight. He's committed to a single direction. Uh, if you can track that, the Palmson's really good at stopping them. I will save you, medic. Alright, it looks Don't like I've only got two kills with the Palmson. But again, part of NG is reading what the d round demands of you. And if you're in a round where your sentry is doing a lot of work, keep riding that. Oh, I bumped something. Alright, and now I'm going to do a little bit of spy checking with the short circuit. Uh, but I ran out of ammo. That's a shame. I wanted to highlight how good it is actually for spy checking. And I'm not sure if we got him or not. That's a scout, not a spy. But I'm going to be a little bit paranoid here. But even with a spy lurking in the back line, this loadout makes me feel pretty confident. Because Short Circuit's pretty good at revealing spies and tracking them. Pompson's good at dealing with them from a distance where I don't have to worry about getting trick stabbed. And uh, hell, even the Southern Hospitality is pretty good because it can make them bleed, which makes it harder for them to run away and easier to track them. All right. Not sure what's going on there in the back line. Sniper, spy, huh? spy sniper. All right. It sounds like the spy's still lurking. Oh, there he is. I'm actually just going to show you. There we go. So he's going to bleed. That makes it that much easier to clean up. And unlike the Jag, I can take care of sappers in two hits with this wrench. Oh, I'm at a double digit streak. Hey, hey, check out those fire horns. I love the way those things move around my moon effect, too. So yeah, it looks like my gun's doing a lot of the work here, but... Oh, alright, let me actually show off the short circuit. So here, you can sometimes use a short circuit against snipers just to blind them. Which, basically, you're not trying to kill them with it, but you're making it hard for them to see where you are. 
just one of the utilities of the, the short circuit that honestly I think makes it part of uh, this overpowered NG loadout. Alright, and I might need to give a little space here because they're bombing from above. Yeah, gun went down, so let's get a little conservative. Probably wouldn't hurt to get some help either. Alright, looks like my team's holding really well. As an NG with a Palmson, it's always tempting to kind of run into the action. But that's not really what my team needs for me at this stage. So I'm just gonna build back here to make sure they Come don't on, use that clicks. top drop down to surprise us. And assuming a pub push comes, we'll be ready for it with at least a level two. All right. Yes. And earlier when I was kind of spamming the choke with the Palmson, there was a weird noise that you might have missed. But uh, that's the other beautiful thing about the Palmson is how good it is against Ubered Medics. If I hit an Ubered Medic with it, it drains part of that Uber meter, which is incredibly frustrating because I've been on the other side of this too. If I can get a level 3 here, they're probably not going to be looking for it here. Alright. Oh no, they took it down already. I, I like that aggressive thinking though. I think that was the right plan. And while this wrench doesn't construct as quickly as the Jag does, it still gets a building up pretty quickly. See, I'm already up at a level 1. I'm not seeing... There's something on the cart. But I think if I can buy myself some time with some palms and spam... Oh no, there's too many people here at once. Alright, they only have 30 seconds though, so... I'm just gonna keep supporting the team. I'm actually gonna drop Hi, back heavy. here and build a telly in case we lose totally the first point. But also, selfishly, I kinda <laughs> wanna give them a chance to cap. Let's do it. Cause I've got a good feeling I'm gonna go godlike if they get the cap and I have five more minutes to get five more kills. Alright. Ah, uh, I don't think they're gonna get it. Let's just put up a insurance gun here. Yeah, they're not gonna get it. Anyway, let me know in the comments if you think it's cheap to use an overpowered loadout like this, or if there is maybe a loadout that you think is even more powerful than Pomps and Short Circuit Southern Hospitality. Thank you to everybody who subscribed, I really appreciate you, and thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye.